Well, hey guys, welcome back to another video. And as you guys all know, in a few days, 1.2 will finally be out, and the two like S rank agent will be getting between Caesar King on the first half and Bernice on the second half. And I kind of want to make this video like who to pick or who to go for exactly between those two. If you are free to play player and can only guarantee one five star or S rank, sorry. On Kai on my brain. <laughs> I'll be going over both of them separately and tell you all the value they can do for you if you decide to pull for either one. And with all the options, I'll just say which one has like the most value, in my opinion, of course, because who could have figured this is my channel? <laughs> Alright, so obviously on the first half, we got the king herself, Caesar King, and I'll be honest, like I glaze you a lot, and rightfully so, like I think Caesar King is gonna be such an insane character to go for. By far gonna have the best shield in the game that can tank like lots of hit, like increasing our immunity to gain CC to move around, which is absurd and can be refreshed with like X special, giving us an unconditional 1000 attack, assuming you max out her core passive, and then add on the fact that if you do a perfect counter or defensive dodge, the enemies around you will take 25% more damage like that's insane so see the king essentially a shield there but and also the one thing i forgot to mention she also a pseudo stun character because her shield skills off impact and she's gonna have a lot of days in her kit and the fact that also comparable to someone like ching Yi is like insane value like see the king just got everything you want like she put the game on easy mode because when, it, when you're season one star, you don't even need to worry about the game mechanic. She basically strongly, and not to mention the fact that she can also provide sun and some supportive capabilities, like, it's insane. And overall, I'm trying to think of, like, weaknesses she have, like, the one I can really think about is, like, for the stunning capability, because where she has, like, the most stun, and we do, like, a defensive dodge, or, like, kind of do a perfect, like, counter. I think that it's pretty simple, because you just need to see the enemy attack you with the yellow glow or light. But also, at the same time, a lot of enemies are, like, very aggressive, especially, like, some elite on bosses, especially when you start pushing to, like, the later stage of seal defense. So pretty simple to do like a defensive dodge or perfect counter with Caesar King. Like it may sound difficult because like you hear perfect timing, but it is gonna be like piss easy to apply the shield to your whole team and the um hindrance resistance. Well so Caesar King will be the very first character to make you think like what the fuck are they thinking? Like they like Caesar is doing too much but at the same time. Hey, I ain't complain. I'm pulling shit gas <laughs> All right, now we got the girl herself, Bernice. You know, I'll be honest, I, I'm assuming a lot of people think I'm about to downplay she or say don't even try considering Bernice because she's exists. But actually, Bernice is actually gonna be a freaking insane unit to go for. And though I don't know much because I only have like the live stream knowledge about Bernice, from what I saw from the live stream and what from people have been telling me, like, the put it in words what I've been told, like, she's gonna be just as strong uh, Jane Dow and everyone knows how strong Jane Dow is for the fact that she is so insane but overall the anomaly path overall is just freaking nuts but how easy is it to build because all you need is anomaly efficiency anomaly mastery on your surface and lastly a block of attack and for something like easier that you hit for like absurdly disgusting numbers like you can even compete with some like dps characters that build with crit rate and crit damage basically and overall bernie's have like three different roles that you can play she in that i'm assuming like one she a character that you need to help apply the anomaly effect for someone like Soldier 11. She has the capabilities of filling in a DPS slot if you need her, or you can play she how I'm assuming a lot of people are gonna play she as like a normally DPS character. Overall, if we're talking about like how good she is overall, like she is honestly a very strong character, especially if you play like a lot of fire characters like Lucy and Soldier 11. Like if you like Lucy and just want to go for she, like she's gonna be a, such a strong character. And I know a lot of people are gonna love she because from the live stream, she just looks so precious but also crazy at the same time. How she just wields that 
flame like that. But freaking lizard, and I'm not sure if it's safe or not to run with the flame trolls while they're shooting fire. But hey, it looks cool at least, am I right? <laughs> Alright, so overall, right, comparing the two characters together, like, I gotta say, like, both these characters have extreme value in any scenario. But I think I have to go with, if you have to choose only one character, I can't guarantee one character to get on your account. Like, I like Lucy a lot, and I think she has her value for sure. But see, the game just trumps in value because, yo, know, you can use like Bernice and like anomaly teams, and especially like the Ocean team. I forgot to mention that when I was talking about Bernice. See, the king can be plotted in any single team comp, and I mean any single team comp. Like, you need a big shield to make you comfy with a sun character that can also like give you like buff like see that it's been doing too much and i don't mind that but my recommendation between the two of them is see the king but at the same time if you feel like you're not interested in see the king gameplay and you are other characters like bernie like I can understand that because you basically want to pick for who you like, but it would take a meta reason, which is like the whole point of this video, like who has the most value. Yeah, see the king got it. But yeah, that's just my recommendation. Let me know who you guys would go for or you guys think it's better in the comment section. And also, if you made this far, like, good lord, I can't believe you made this far, so, um, thank you, I guess. Like, appreciate you, and uh, if you like the video and enjoy what I have to say, why well, hit the like button because that's like the best way you can support me and of course subscribe to the channel and leave a comment like all that stuff but you're not forced to do that and also if you like want to interact with me i have my discord server down in the pinned comments so where you can talk to me or some people in my community i would love to see you there and interact with you guys but with all that said take care love you guys and i'll see you on my next video goodbye